coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines. If you loved my Williams-Sonoma Easter Bunny dish dupe, then I think you're gonna like this episode too because I'm duping more of their fancy dishes. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy videos about DIY and home decor, then you are in the right place, and I'd invite you to subscribe to my channel below, and make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my episodes that I'm uploading. Today is a special episode because I am participating in a collaboration that is being hosted by my good friend, Lisa Burningham, and it is the Entertaining for the Holiday Holidays collaboration and her co-host is Antoinette with Simple Yet Chic. They both have wonderful and amazing channels about home decor and entertaining and I know that you're gonna love their channels so I'll make sure to link both of their channels in my description box below and when you're done watching my episode make sure you pop on over to Lisa and Antoinette's channels check out their episodes as well as all of the others participating in this collaboration so Today, I have something very special planned. I am so excited about it. In keeping with the entertaining for the holidays, the theme, I am doing a Williams Sonoma plate dupe of this one right here, their Friendsgiving plate collection. I'm really excited about it because you know me, I love to do designer knockoffs and we're going to be doing ours for just over a dollar a plate and the originals are around seven dollars a plate which in fairness to williams sonoma is actually a pretty decent price for them because normally i've seen some of them get upwards of 12 to 15 dollars for a salad plate so seven dollars a plate is actually a pretty good price for williams sonoma but we're going to do better have you noticed this little elephant in the room right here I have been looking forward to this day for a long time. <laughs> Cricket! After a lot of research and a lot of due diligence on my part, I felt like Cricut was the right fit for me. So I actually reached out to them and I have teamed up with Cricut and they have sent me a machine to try out. I have never used a vinyl cutter in my life. I ha actually can't believe I've made it this long in life without buying one of these. I've been wanting one for years and it felt like there's always something higher on the priority list but I have a feeling that I'm gonna wish that I just splurged a long time ago. I am really excited about this. So I haven't even opened it yet. You're gonna experience that with me. And then we are gonna use this to knock off those Williams-Sonoma dishes. And for those of you who don't have a Cricut yet, I'm gonna have an option for you as well. I have a feeling that using this Cricut machine is gonna make for an even better dupe. So let's open it up. You guys are gonna find out what color it is before I am probably. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. This is secretly the color I was hoping for. So I was telling my husband about all the things that I could do with this, because he's always ordering vinyl lettering for his cars. He said to me, if I knew you could do all these decals with this for my cars, I would have bought you one a long time ago. Ladies, that's a little tip for you. If you want your man to buy you one, this color is pretty. I'm doing my craft room upstairs and this is one of the colors that's already in there. This is almost exactly the color of my walls upstairs. I think there's a button. I think we need to... Ooh. That is amazing. That opened so gracefully. I'm gonna play around with it for a second and then we're gonna design a stencil for our plates that we are knocking off. I am so excited. So after installing my Cricut software and fiddling around with it a little bit, I figured it out. It's not too hard. For those of you who can't fit a Cricut into your budget yet, hang on with me. I haven't forgot about you and I will tell you how you can also get a similar look. After you download the Cricut software and set up an account, you're going to start out by opening a new project. I had already preloaded the text image for our knockoff, which I had done on Canva prior, but you can actually just do it right within the Cricut workspace. The font name is Delato de Stato. 
<laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right. And it's off of Defont.com. I will link it in the description box below. This is not an exact match for the original font, but it's very close and I really like the font. I will also be putting the printable for what I used in the description box below. So if you want to just use that instead, feel free to. Or go ahead and create your own in Cricut Workspace. So once you have your font or any image in there, go up top where it says fill and select no fill since this will be a stencil. Because we are using it on the back of a glass plate, this image needs to be reversed. Then go to shapes and select square and unlock it on the bottom left hand corner so that you can turn it into a rectangle. Use the green directional button to shape it to the size you want to fit behind our words, which are thankful and grateful, just like the inspiration plates. Make sure you send it to the back. Then go ahead and duplicate the same image and put it behind the other word. Then click on your rectangle and hit shift and hold it down while you hit the word. And then you're going to hit slice at the bottom of the screen and that will break everything apart. Then you're just going to click on the words and pull them out and hit the X button to delete them. You will do this until all that is left is your shaped rectangle with your words in it. Then you can duplicate these and fit for on a 12 by 12 page. After you duplicate them, you can highlight them and hit attach so they're all linked together. Then go ahead and adjust the size, making sure that you take up as much space as possible up to 11 and a half inches. That way you can cut stencils for all four plates at once. When you're done designing, go ahead and click the green button that says make it. Now we're gonna cut our stencils. So it really doesn't matter whether you use a stencil vinyl or just removable vinyl. And so I've just decided to go ahead and use removable vinyl. Sorry about the way I talk. I just got back from the dentist and I'm still a little numb. <laughs> We are gonna start out by peeling back the plastic protective layer of our mat. Then we're gonna place our removable vinyl down on the mat, making sure it is nice and smooth. Now go to your machine and hit the open button and it will pop open so nice and smooth. Now we're gonna load our mat by lining it up with the wheels and hitting the load button and just giving it a little extra nudge as you push it in. Then you're going to hit the C button and then the magic happens. It starts to cut your stencil, which will blow your mind. It's so precise and it's kind of mesmerizing, but it does take a few minutes. Now we're going to do a process called weeding where we get rid of all of the parts of the stencil that we are not going to use. Just get rid of it, toss it. Then you're gonna need some transfer tape. You put this right over the top of the stencil. Hopefully you do this a little more smoothly and gracefully than my first couple of attempts. I did get better at it. Then you remove all the backing and then we are ready to put it on our glass plate. The first thing we need to do with the plate is make sure that it is really clean. If you need to use a little rubbing alcohol to make sure that there is no spots and no fuzzies. Then we're just going to stick the stencil right on top of the plate, smoothing it out to the best of our abilities and make sure that it wraps around. If it overlaps on the edges, that's okay because that's how the original was as well. Then we're just going to use a little blue tape or masking tape, whatever your preference is, and mask off the rest of the plate so the only part that is exposed is the words. In the inspiration plates, the lettering is gray, so I just end up using some primer that I had on hand already and spraying that on. That is not what I'm going to be using on my table. You'll have to check back to see what color I end up doing. But I do two light coats of the gray and let it dry. Then we peel everything off, all of the tape, all of the stencil, and hopefully you are left with the work. If there's any overspray or areas that are imperfect, then you can just use either a razor blade or rubbing alcohol or a combination of both. But just make sure that when you go to do this next step that it is all clean and ready for the solid color. Then I spray two coats of white spray paint and let that fully dry. So now it's time to make our dishes dishwasher safe because if we're gonna eat on them, we wanna be able to wash them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put on this dishwasher safe Mod Podge over the back. It does make it dishwasher safe. It 
does need like 28 days to cure so the sooner the better there is a faster way to do this but i will leave the instructions for that down in the description box below i have a ton of this left over from my easter bunny dish dupe and so we're going to use it on this and i think we're going to have a ton left over from this so this bottle will get you a long way so we're only using a tiny bit of it but it really does work and all we're going to do now that this is dry is we are going to paint this on the back of our dishes and i've got kind of a wide brush that does show brush strokes and that's kind of why i wish they had it in a spray you need to do at least two coats preferably three let it sit an hour in between each coat Our Williams Sonoma knockoff dishes are done and whether or not they're a great match you'll have to let me know in the comment section below but it doesn't matter because I think these are so cute I'm in love with them they were like around two dollars a plate that's a savings of about five dollars per plate and that adds up really quickly when you're doing a whole tablescape so these would make wonderful gifts to give to your guests when they come to your house for Thanksgiving. Plus, they are going to be washable. These will be dishwasher safe. What do you think? I am so happy with them. Now on my Thanksgiving slash Friendsgiving table, I'm going to be doing black just because I think that it's gonna pop a lot more than this. But for the sake of the dupe, I did the gray. But just think of the possibilities. You can do any color you want. And on the note of possibilities, I should have invested in a Cricut machine years and years and years ago. I have had so much fun. The results are so amazing. I am obsessed with this. So thank you so much to Cricut for sending me the machine to give it a try. I love it. If you don't have one already, start saving your pennies. I highly recommend one. I'll put a link for them below if you're interested, no pressure. It would make a great Christmas gift or birthday gift. I'm just thinking of all the Christmases and birthdays that pass me by without getting a Cricut machine. And the funniest part is my husband has given me a honeydew list on my Cricut machine already. For those of you who it's just not in the budget yet, don't despair. I've put a link to a printable down in the description box below. All you need to do is cut it out, Mod Podge it on. If you're not quite sure how to do it, just pop on over to my William Sonoma Bunny Dish Dupe and follow those steps. It's pretty much the same thing. The only thing I would do different than the Bunny Dish Dupe is using the spray paint because it, it dries smoother and with a much more even consistency on the back. That is your method. I'm in love with the Cricut. This is my honest, genuine feedback for you. I will always be real and authentic with you and I will always pick sponsors that really align with who I am as a person and my brand and I will not leave you astray. I've got a lot more coming. And if you wanna see how my tablescape turns out, you're gonna to wanna to stop by on Monday because I have the most beautiful Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving tablescape planned for you. And that will air this coming Monday. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.